All right, I'm doing a little experiment here today. I'm adding pellet hops directly to pints of beer. I figured if you can add hops to a keg, why can't you just add them straight to the pint? What I've learned about brewing over the last two years, as we've been brewing here very consistently, is that hop character fades really fast, especially if you're dry hopping. That really aromatic, juicy flavor, um, it's there for like a week, and then it noticeably starts to fade. The quicker you can drink the beer, the better. The fresher it is, the better. So I'm thinking, why don't I just add hops directly to the pint, see how that works out, see what that tastes like. And that's what I'm doing today. I watched some videos, read some articles by some folks who made hot tea and added that to the beer. I'm all about the shortcuts. Like, what's the easiest way to accomplish what I'm setting about to do here? Okay, that's what I'm attempting to figure out here by adding hops directly to the pint. So I have a little tea ball that I put a pellet hop in. Um, I've left to sit here for just a couple of minutes and now I'm gonna see what this tastes like. This is just the standard beer out of the tap. It's our summer beer. Turned out great. Light, citrusy, really clean. Got some hop in there. But the hops definitely faded. It was a completely different beer a few weeks ago. Now, beer with a single pellet hop added to um, a tea ball. And you can see, I don't know if you can see on camera, but this one's definitely slightly darker. So this pellet hop is now, has definitely disintegrated and some of that is now floating around in this beer here. This one smells happier. Definitely much stronger hop profile than this. This is, I mean, it's a great beer to start with. Now, what I'm not getting though, is like juiciness, you know? I'm not getting a, uh, like a big juicy burst. Oh yeah! Like, some of our juicy IPAs, which are just, you know, have a ton of fresh hops, not fresh hops, but dry hop additions. Maybe it's the hop pellet here. I'm using Equinot. Equinot is described as having aromas of melon, berry, orange peel, lime, papaya, pine, and fresh peppers. It's good. Um, that's good as well. They're both good. However, this one is definitely more of a hop forward beer. I'm gonna say this experiment, I'm gonna give this two thumbs up. If you have a beer that's faded a bit, or you just wanna experiment with some weird additions to your beers, just pick out, I mean, we have probably 15 or 20 different types of hops in the freezer. I think I'm gonna start doing this. Just grabbing sort of more neutral beers or uh, hoppy beers that have sort of faded. Just we'll add a pellet at a time to little tea balls and see how it does. This, this tastes great, I think this is, this is a viable way to hop up your beers. Anyway, thanks for watching. Check out our YouTube channel. Check out our website, clawhammersupply.com. See ya.